Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed Games, and today we're going to be looking at the next frame event in Unity 3D's Playmaker add-on. Now, the next frame event you can easily find in the State Machine Control System subsystem, and it's a very simple and easy uh, action to use. But I've already got the scene set up with the two finite state machine systems, and the pretty much as you can see, it looks like they're set up in a si looping cycle. Now let's take a look at the first one. There is nothing in these states. So since it's using the finished action, uh, finished event, basically it should theoretically just keep on looping through and through. Now that differs a little bit on this one because this one in each event has the next frame event. Now for the purposes of this I'm going to disable the second one, which is this one, and go back here and let's execute and see what happens. Okay, it looks like uh, Unity 3D is uh, detecting that there is a problem. And, let's see. Possible infinite loop. Okay. I guess that would explain why it's holding fast on this one state and not actually going through. So let's disable that, enable that, clear that so that it's a fresh screen. I'm going to go to this one. Okay, so as you can see, it's going through. It's blinking. It's probably going to be blinking at a different rate because of the encoding, but it is cycling through, and it is detecting that there is no error. So why is this happening? Well, sometimes with Unity 3D and Playmaker, it might detect that there is a pr problem with a particular action once you've gone to execute it. Now, in this particular one, it's saying, okay, there's a possible infinite loop because it's looking at each state, and it's saying, okay, well, there's nothing really there to do. In this particular one, it's show seeing that there is something there to do. Okay, now, you might be asking, why not just add in some actions? Okay, well, let's do that then. So, let's create a variable. Let's get rid of that for now. Let's make it an int because we're going to make a create basic counter. And each frame, let's add to this integer. Int add. Int add. Int add. Counter add one. Counter, add one, counter, add one, and counter, add one. Okay, let's do the same in here, just so that there's consistency. And just so that there is no confusion, let's make sure that the next frame event is at the bottom of the stack. Because Playmaker will fire off each action in succession. I'm going to have to make a counter 2 so that we can distinguish between the two. And let's expose this to the uh, inspector as well. Add one to two, add one, pull that up. Okay, so now we've got an integer that should be added each state. Again, these two finite state machines are pretty much identical with the only difference between being the next frame event. So let's pull up the console so that we can see what's going on. Yep, it's still seeing the possible infinite loop. So let's go into this one. Yep, it's stuck. 
it seems to have stuck on 100, which basically means that it's going to go through this a 100 times before it says, hey, wait a sec, there's a little bit of a problem here. Now, as you can see, counter 2, it's still firing, it's still climbing while this one is stopped. Now, the reason being is because of this error checking. The error checking is actually really good because it will help point in the direction where you need to go. But in some particular cases, that might actually suspend the actions that you need to do. Now it should, if we delete this transition, the counter should reach four. One, two, three, four. Yep, it reached four. So that basically means that the, uh, since it detects that there is no loop, then there should be no problem. So the main difference between the two is the error checking and the cycling. Now, why would you be using the next frame event? Well, again, in Playmaker, it's a very powerful program, but sometimes if you have an action that has a lot of hefty calculations in it, sometimes if you don't tell it to control how fast it goes through using the next frame event, it'll basically look at all the actions and go through as many as it can and then on the next and the next CPU cycle it'll realize hey wait a sec I should be in the next state and so it'll automatically bump you out and that can give you inconsistencies in your results I was facing this with a uh, a weapon selector program where I needed to count up from 1 to 6 and if it was over 6 it would go back to 1 and before when I was just using standard loops, it would get caught in the loop and it would be inconsistent. But I added in the next frame event and it actually helped. I'll show this as an example in a future video, but I hope this answers a few questions about the next frame event. And as always, if you like this video, or if you have any questions, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.